Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on top 10 Mac apps of 2011. So let's just get started. Some of these are paid, most of them are, but some of them aren't. So let's get started. My first top Mac app is Final Cut Pro. Now this is a $300 program, it just came out. Now for all those people who say that they don't like it, I really don't get it. I use it a lot, and for most of my videos that will be coming up in the near future, I will edit with this. So if we'll just open it up, this is version 10. Alright, so you see, this is what this is what Final Cut Pro basically is. It is a very high-end um, video editor. Most of you have heard of it. I'll do a um, an in-depth tour of it, or an in-depth review on it later, but this is Final Cut. It's a very heavy editing program. You have a whole bunch of titles. You can do transitions, music, and you can also do some pretty cool effects with it. I'll start getting into some tutorials with that later. So that's Final Cut Pro. My next is another video editor. Editor. It's a little cheaper. It's Motion 5 from Apple. These are both from Apple. This is 300. This is 50. So if we were to just open up Motion, this is basically the same thing as Final Cut, but you cannot do as many things with it. So this is version 5 of Motion. So you see, you can just um, open up types of projects. You can do like, um, hold on. For some reason, I feel like this uses up more CPU usage than Final Cut. You see you have a whole bunch of built-in ones that you can edit, but most likely you're going to want a blank one. So let's say you were to just open a blank effect. This is what you'd come up with. You see not as many options as with Final Cut, but you still get a pretty heavy editing program. I recommend if you're just starting to get into heavy editing, I suggest you start with Motion 5 and then move over to Final Cut. So that's Motion 5. Now my next application, you probably heard of it, is ScreenFlow. That's what I'm using to record this video right now, not much I can say. It's very good screen recording. You, you can go up to the um the resolution of your screen for the video recording so that's pretty cool my next app I think that's number four is Pixelmator you've seen I have a tutorial on that already on how to make this background basically it's just like Photoshop which I do have but I just seem to like this a little better it seems a little more user friendly so if you were to open up Pixelmate, you see this is what you opened with. Basically all the same tools as um, Photoshop, just Apple's version of it. And it seems to be a little more user friendly than Photoshop. And it's also cheaper. So that's Pixelmate. I'll have in-depth tours on all of these. I'm just going through them really quick. My next favorite application is going to be Clean My Mac. Now what this is, is if, let's say you have a lot of junk on your computer, but you can't find it all. What this basically does is it finds it for you. So let's say that we were to scan. Oops. Let's say we were to scan my computer. So you see it's just going to scan through all of my all of my caches, logs, language files, universal universal um, binaries, system junk, trash leftovers. And you see trash leftovers, it actually found 3.65 gigabytes worth of trash leftovers. So I'll just stop these. I'll just uncheck all the ones that are taking a while. I'll just hit stop scan. And I'll hit stop now. And I'll hit clean up what it found. It found 4.28 gigs of leftover junk. It's going to make me authenticate really quick. All right. So now you see it's just going to be cleaning up. So while that's going, I'm just going to minus that and we'll head into the next app. Now we are on number five. That was number five. Now let's head to number six. Number six is Angry Birds. Everyone's heard of this. So you see, here's Angry Birds. I just got this game a little while ago. Everybody started this. I'm not really even trying right now, but that's what Angry Birds is. 
and this isn't in any particular order, like top one to um, top ten. This is just my top ten. So now we're moving on to number six, I think it is. We've done this, this, that's two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now number seven is going to be Twitter. This is basically just a Twitter client. And you have the option for, um, you see, that's just an old account. So you have the option to tweet, at, at tweets, all that, messages, lists, profile, and then search. So it's just a cheap, it's a free Twitter client. I use it. I don't really need that much. And then number, I keep losing counts, sorry. One, two, three, four five six seven number eight is going to be Photoshop which is a little more complicated than um, than Pixelmator but I do use this sometimes if I want to do some um, more heavy pic picture editing so this is what oh, sorry So that's what, um, this is basically Photoshop. Everybody's heard of this. I'll have some tutorials on this later. So that's number eight. Now we'll go to number nine. Number nine is going to be Microsoft Word for Mac. Everybody's heard of this. It's basically just a um, text editor, I guess you could say. So it's just updating the font menu. So you see, this is what it is. You have a whole bunch of templates. You have like miscellaneous. You can do flyers, brochures, all that. Definitely recommend that. It's basically just a word editor. It's great for school if you have to write an essay. So that's Word. I will have in-depth tours, as I've said. I will have tutorials on all of these. So that's Word, and then my last one is going to be, where is it, right there, Microsoft PowerPoint. Now PowerPoint is basically, basically you make PowerPoints. There are a lot of options you can do. There are a whole bunch of different templates. You can do many different fonts. You can do different titles. It, there's a lot you can do with um, PowerPoint. That's great if you want to do a presentation for school. So that's what PowerPoint is. So thank you guys for watching my top 10 Mac apps of 2011. I will have some more videos being uploaded soon. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.